Hey everybody, this is the Foxwell AutoMaster Pro uh, ODB2 scanner. It does a lot of stuff. So I am got a trouble code here. I know what it is on my car, but I just want to validate it. So I'm going to go to AutoVIN and get the VIN automatically. And that's it. And I'm going to say yes with F3 over here. And that's a yes. And I'm going to do a quick scan of the system. Okay, so my, I got a fault <coughs> on my engine control module, my ECU. So I'm going to take a look at the report of that, where it says report F3. No fault, no fault. And let's see what ODB2 shows me. I don't know if it'll be the same thing or not. <clears throat> it says it found a code. So let's take a look at the code. That's with an F1. I got a camshaft position timing sensor. I know that needs to be replaced. <clears throat> and I've got a coolant thermostat temperature below thermostat regulating temperature, a P0128. Now what that means <clears throat> is that uh, my thermostat in the car has failed. This is a 2017 Cadillac XT5 with a uh, V6, 3.6 V6. It's a common problem. That means the thermostat needs to be replaced uh, and the typically the uh, engine coolant temperature sensor should be replaced because it's right there when you replace the thermostat. So you need a thermostat, you're going to need a, a big O-ring for the cooling tube, uh, two small O-rings for the, for the bleed off, the, the coolant bleed off, and uh, that's that's it. It's just you do have to re and and you should have you should replace the intake uh, manifold gaskets. There's six of them uh, when you do this job. Uh, all the parts, all told, uh, probably like eighty bucks. <clears throat> but uh, I do have a warranty on my car, so that's going to go in the shop on Monday for them to look at it. Uh, the last time it was done, uh, unfortunately, was I'm going to say two years ago at the Cadillac dealer because the car was under warranty. But uh, other than that, uh, I'm, it's a part that fails on, on occasion and it needs to be done again. So I'm going to erase, erase this. I'm going to erase the codes. Key on with engine off. All right, okay for F3. Do it again. Okay, and that's it. <clears throat> now we'll turn the car on.
you'll see I still have a light and a message that says steering assist is reduced drive with care that is the common message that you end up getting here uh, when you end up having a problem with your with your your, your coolant right and now you can see I just erased that with the car running and I don't have that anymore so I'm going to say okay I'm going to shut the car off <clears throat> this is a one here that says permanent status I don't think I can erase that one right now Yeah, that one doesn't want to erase for some reason. It says permanent. <clears throat> but start it back up again. The code is gone. And because the code is gone, the fans are not on high speed anymore. But I have no doubt that those codes are gonna come back pretty soon, as soon as it goes through a cycle. I just wanted to show you a little bit about the code reader. Uh, it might be a worthwhile investment for you because it does a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, you can either get, you can even get live data off of this and uh, it is pretty cool. So check it out if you want.